Greetings, friendly faces. How are you? Hope you're doing great. I'm doing swell. swell. I'm, really, I'm tired. really tired. Let's turn the lights on, shall we? Lights are on. I, I like, like just, woke, just up. woke up. As you can tell, uh, today I have an exciting video planned. I'm going to get a glow up. I'm going to get a spray tan, basically, for the first time in my life. The only experience I've ever really had with tanning is a free tanning wipe sample that didn't really go so well, and tanning lotion, which did not match my skin at all. I mean, it's not supposed to because it's tanning lotion, but it was way too dark. We're going to get a spray tan today. I'm, I'm skeptical. I'm really skeptical. There was a lot of uh, beforehand things I had to do, preparations, if you will, before... Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. I cannot think of... Um, um, there were a lot of preparations I had to do beforehand. I had to exfoliate my skin, I had to shave, obviously. I had to stay clear from soaps and lotions that had oils in them, which was really hard. I had to go find an oil-free lotion. I'm not really sure if it's oil-free or not, but when I looked at the ingredients, there wasn't any oils. And it said it was paraben-free, so we're gonna hope that that works. I really hope I don't end up looking like an orange. And I'm not really sure how long a spray tan is supposed to last. I would assume a couple weeks at the most. If it looks horrible, it's only on for a couple weeks. If it looks great, then it is sadly only on for a couple weeks. Either way, I'm, I'm fine, fine with that. that. After the spray tan, they instruct you to wear dark, loose-fitting clothing so you don't get the tan on any good, light-colored clothes and so you don't get it on your car seats, potentially. I think the high today is around upper 80s, low 90s. And I'm gonna be wearing black sweatpants and a dark hoodie or sweatshirt, whatever I find. So basically I'm going to roast to death, but it'll all be worth it for the tan. I won't be the palest thing you've ever laid your eyes on anymore. I'm so sorry my voice is so deep. Oh my gosh, I'm so, so tired. Deep. Also, you're not supposed to wear any makeup for the tan either. So as you can see, I'm makeupless. It's, it's a struggle. struggle. It's a real struggle. But basically this video is going to be pretty short. It's just going to be a before and after. This is the before, obviously. The after will come after. What is my brain doing? Okay, okay. I'll see you when I get the, the fit for the tanning. My dark colored sweatsuit. Sweat track suit. Track sweat. You know what I mean. I'll see you when I'm all ready with that. Yeah. yeah. Kind of terrified. It's gonna be fine though. Hi, I'm, I'm back. back. Here's my fit. It's literally a black sweatshirt with black sweatpants. Am I going to roast to death? Yes. yes. Will I be happy afterwards? To be determined. determined. Like I said, I've never gotten a spray tan before in my life, but hopefully I will have a healthy glow after the fact and I won't be translucent. So I'll see you afterwards. I'm sure it'll be fine. We're gonna be, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Okay, see you afterwards. Okay. Hey, it is the next day. I'm a little more energetic. I got a little bit of sleep, but I figured I would film at the same time I did yesterday. So you would see the difference at the same time of day with the same lighting, stuff like that. Yes, it's the day after. I wanted to let the tan completely soak into my skin before I showed you guys. Um, I'm definitely darker, like definitely. Like, definitely. definitely. But funny story, about like maybe two-ish hours into the tan, I decided to work out I knew that sweat would impact it in some way, but I did not, oh gosh, but I did not realize that it would take half the tan off with it. So my face and neck are a little paler than they should be. Same with my like stomach and like back, but my legs and arms are like kind of perfectly fine. They developed nicely. I would show you my legs. I don't know if that's like, a, uh, that's my leg. Oh. Um. That was my leg. It really does look darker. And I'm kind of surprised. If I had just, you know, not worked out, then it would look fine all over, but. Alas. Sorry, there's like a mirror right behind me, so that's why I'm looking there. I'm like just contemplating my life choices. Uh, uh, but yeah, moral of the story, if you're looking for a change in your style, just go for it. Make sure, you know, it's safe. Make sure it's something you really want to do before you go through with it. It doesn't matter if people like it or hate it. It's your choice. And as long as you love it, basically what I'm trying to say is go for change, but be careful about it and make sure you're doing it for yourself 
and not for others. I'm kind of happy I got a spray tan just because I got to see what I look like tan because I don't tan. I burn when I go out in the sun. This was fun for me. Sorry it's such a short video. I promise there won't be many that are this short. Like, subscribe, always comment down below what you want to see next. Although, Although no, one no one ever does. does. But that's fine. I love you all. Have a great day and try to think of a pun to end this off that has something to do with the tan. Stay fresh. Make a fresh spray tan. I don't know. Bye! Thank you.